guys, hey there, Mina san konnichiwa, my name is Chisa and welcome to my channel. Today, all we're going to do awesome ranking episode 10. As I'm super excited about this episode, we're slowly building up to something. Like there's something gonna happen and it seems like everyone is sort of anticipating Bochi's return. Especially King Bosse, like his intentions are still a kind of mystery to me. What he tries to do, especially with healing, like... It feels like he's challenging her in some ways. He's challenging a lot of people around him. And I'm also really curious about his connection with Miranjo. Like, what's that about? He says that he's just going with the flow. Like, he's just observing most of the time. And like, in some moments, it feels like he's assisting Miranjo. But then in other moments, it feels like he's obstructing her plans as well. So that's why he's so confusing to me. But then he's also thinking about Bochi and it feels like he's mostly just waiting for Bochi's return, which I'm really curious about. And I also kind of get that feeling from Daida as well. Daida's kind of locked up in his own body in that darkness and he cannot escape from it. And it wasn't in the same way, but he was also thinking about Bochi and he was like, oh, was he also feeling this way? Was he also experiencing this loneliness? So that was really interesting. And to be honest, like I'm also waiting for Bochi's return. I want to see so bad the results of his training, how much he has grown. So without further ado, let's right into the episode. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm going to start the episode in three, two, one, go. Is that his weapon? Is that the weapon that he chose? The completion of his training. <laughs> oh my god, he's so proud of it. What's in what's in the seat? Oh, oh! So that's the kind of weapon he's gonna use. Interesting. They really fooled us with that one. I thought like he was wielding like a bigger sword than we expected. Like, size-wise, it's kind of like in between a dagger and a real sword, right? That's what we expected. But in reality, um, what's that thing called? I don't even know what that thing is called. It's like a similar thing you use for fencing. But I don't know what th that thing is called, to be honest. Also, it's kind of the, the thing that the three musketeers were using, right? That's what it makes me think of, but I forgot the name for it. But yeah, with that thing, he apparently just cut a whole boulder in half. So it must be amazing what he can do. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited about this. You fake! <laughs> Bochi's face, he's like, you're not, you don't find this cool? <laughs> I 
Butch is like, is this not cool? <laughs> no, it's, it's good advice that he's giving. He's kind of saying that Bochi shouldn't pay attention to whatever people are saying or how people are watching him. Yes. <laughs> Look how happy Bochi is. Exactly. He did that. They're not gonna show it yet. They're not gonna reveal everything at once. Only during during important times. They'll show us what he can do. <laughs> Watch his chair. <laughs> Kampai! Yay! Who is this dude? Uh, from the other day. Basically nobody. So I'm not gonna even try to remember their names. Yeah. Are they gonna pick on Bochi? No. They've matured. It's also part of the training, not letting the words bother you. Or not, never mind. <laughs> oh, it's the other way around! Yes! <laughs> Usually it's like, you can badmouth me all you want, but don't badmouth my friends. He's the other way. <laughs> Bochi! No! <gasps> oh. Okay. He's fine. And he got this crown back. Like, I. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even need a sword? A weak as punch. <laughs> I don't know. He fell. Impact is just so weak, but then they all fall down.
You bet I'll allow my apprentice also to use a weapon. Okay. Yes. <laughs> My boy. What? What did I do? Did he though? I don't think he's dead. Yeah, he's just unconscious. Oh, oh So it's more like <laughs> because there's no nerve there. Oh, so he's more like directly attacking the nerves. Like acupuncture. <laughs> Which like yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> to the nerves, yeah. Those eyes. <laughs> but that's not something that Bochi would do. Yeah, that's what he would do. Exactly. He doesn't want to kill anybody. a little bit suspicious. <laughs> that is very suspicious. Oh. Were they all in cahoots? 
Was this all just one big plan? Wait, 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 was that damage real still? But then, wait, so only the punches were like an act? Okay, so that was real. Whatever what she did was real. It's not like they pretended to fall down and be unconscious, you know? <gasps> they still haven't shown everything. The moment will come. Eventually. But not now. の弱点を突く方法はデスパーさんに教わったけど、あの素早さを一体どうやって身につけたんだ？あ、that oh. <laughs> serpent. It was like in the past. Oh, okay, so you already received kind of like that kind of training in the past. Sharpen all of the senses. ビビ。俺一人でもいるか。私たちのいるではありませんか。俺はヘビ使いだぞ。お前たちが可愛くて仕方がないんだ。that's cute mm, the snake knows everything This is also a conversation they had back then. Oh, so the snake was also the one who taught him how to read lips. Well, well, the reality, the present, has grown closer to that vision that he um, just told. ボッチ。実はベビンが言ってたんだが、お前の国は今大きな陰謀が渦巻いているらしい。いや、何が起こるかわからないけど、ただお前はボッチ様を守れ。オッケー。Okay.
He must be kind of scared to go back, especially after everything that happened with Domas. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he thinks the queen is behind it. Even though she, yeah, she jumped right after him and she healed him. <laughs> He's thinking about his own mom also. <laughs> oh. Yeah, of course, he doesn't want to uh, suspect his mom, like... <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna make me cry again! have to do that this kind of like a little punishment towards himself for not trusting the queen Let's go home! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Who was that? Eating rats? Gross. Anyways, I love this episode. This is what I was waiting for. The reveal of Bochi's training. I feel content again. All the fluffiness of this episode. Like Bochi, Kage, they'll just make your heart melt. It was just so sweet. Especially towards the end. I didn't even think about Bochi kind of being scared to go back home again. Because obviously when he goes home he has to confront Domas, the queen, Hoklo again. Like the last time he... Yeah... The last time he saw them was when he was pushed off that cliff, right? By Domas. That's all that he still remembers and knows. So he doesn't know the intentions behind those actions, right? Like he doesn't know who is behind that act. So he's kind of thinking of the possibility that it was a conspiracy between all three of them, you know, Domas, Hoklo and the Queen, which is not the case we know as the viewer but Bochi obviously doesn't know and made him sad because he doesn't want to distrust the queen you know eventually Kage also talked him out of it like just you have to gain the courage to believe in others you know it's also the words that his master said but yeah that also made Bochi remember those days with the queen those memories he has and he's like yeah you're right, the queen never would do that to me. And he kind of got mad at himself. A little punishment for 
thinking that way, you know, for not believing in the queen. But yes, so this episode 10, another great episode. This episode was fully focused on Bochi and Kage again. We got to see what Bochi is capable of after his training and we still haven't seen everything. Like there's still some things that they're hiding from us. But basically what it came to is they made use of Bochi's strong senses to fight his opponents. So because of his good senses, he probably can find the weaknesses of his opponents very easily that doesn't require a lot of strength. So just by attacking the, the, the places where people are most vulnerable, like he can knock them out more easily. And he uses his sword the same way as well. You know, he uses a sword that's kind of needle-like with a very sharp point. So he can directly attack the nerves of people, which is very effective because nerves are basically the ways through which things are communicated from the brain to the body. So if you directly attack those points, yeah, you can do a lot of damage without physically hurting them. So yeah, that's very butchy like I think it really suits him, this fighting style. And that was basically just like a little showcase, you know, but I'm sure like he can do a lot more with it. This is just the beginning of his growth. So yeah, overall, I just really enjoyed this episode. And now Bochi is finally gonna return home. And that's also something that I'm really looking forward to because that was very highly anticipated by a lot of people already. Like people are just waiting for Bochi's return, waiting to see his growth. You know, so that's also something that I'm really looking forward to, is to see how his growth is going to be received once he returns to the castle. Because, you know, Miranjo is still doing a lot of things. And so we don't know how everything is going to turn out. We also got to see that mysterious character at the end of the episode. So it might even take a while before the Bochi can return home and arrives at the castle. You know, it might still be a long adventure before he finally arrives home. So who knows how it's gonna go. In any case, there was a very, very enjoyable episode. I really liked it. So that was my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you can see my other reaction videos, please check out my channel and subscribe. And if you cannot wait to see my reaction to the next episode, you can already find it on my Patreon where you can get early access. So if you're interested, please go check it out. You can find the link in the description box below. So in any case, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.